Good morning. It is a beautiful day and today I'm going to be working on that, which is a lean-to structure for solar stuff. Nassim Taleb said the three most harmful addictions are heroin, carbohydrates and a monthly salary. I can't say much for the first two, but addiction to a regular income is something I know about. So this week's program is about solar power, minimalism and the key to quitting that addiction to the monthly salary. If you're thinking that this structure looks a bit big for a few batteries and an inverter, you're right. But I thought rather than just build a box, I might as well build a structure. And that way I can put in a freezer and a washing machine and it can be a kind of off-grid utility room. When I think about minimalism, I think of a guy in a white room with four t-shirts, a hammock and a Mac Air. There's something stark, utilitarian and a bit dull about the whole thing. But I think this is just the extreme end of something that is profoundly important. When we first moved into this bus, I started trying to calculate how much power we needed. I was used to living in a house with three bedrooms, a house that needed to be heated, full to the rafters with stuff, stuff that needed power. Three years ago we emigrated from London to New Zealand. At first we lived in our van and our power usage was cut down to one 60 watt panel and a car battery. We lived like that for months and it was fine. Now we have way more power than we need but compared to the average house our power usage is probably pretty low. I've come to enjoy these mundane jobs like screwing down decking boards. There isn't much to it, just making sure that the spacing is uniform, bending the odd bit of timber to get it straight, but mainly it's just screwing down boards. It's a chance for my brain to simmer down. There's potentially a monotony to it, but it can be almost meditative. I got all the decking boards down yesterday, so now I just need to trim them to size, and then I'll look at the roof. This is, without question, the most satisfying part of building a deck. I leave the boards long and then cut them down to size with a track saw.
Anything that the track saw can't reach, I just trim flush with a Japanese pull saw. It's funny, when people visit, there's a tendency to focus on what isn't there. People might comment, I couldn't live in a space this small, or I couldn't live without my whatever. However, it's through that absence of stuff that other things are also not present, such as a massive mortgage, enormous monthly outgoings, and therefore the attendant addiction to the monthly salary. I'm doing a bit of maths. Well, I'm not actually doing maths. The internet's doing the maths and I'm writing it on a bit of wood to make it look like I'm cleverer than I am. But so these are the two posts that I've got in here and I know the distance between them. And what I want to do is I want the roof to slope. So I want this to be higher. And so I want this angle from there to there to be 10 degrees. So on an online calculator, all I need to do is put in this measurement here and the degrees here and it will tell me how much higher I need to be. So that's 175, it calculates it as being 30. So clever, I guess it's trigonometry? Is it trigonometry or geometry? I don't know. That's how bad I am at maths, but whatever, it works. That is gonna be 30 higher than that one. So my first beam's already in place. All I need to do is add this beam 30 centimeters or one foot higher, and that should give me a slope of 10 degrees. There's just a single nail holding those two beams in place there. So I'm going to go drill some holes up and put a bolt in there to make it much more secure. So let's get back to my original thought at the beginning of the video about solar power, minimalism and the key to ending the addiction to the monthly salary. Solar power is certainly a good first step. When you have monthly utility bills, these require monthly income to service those bills. Getting solar power is like paying for all your power up front. Once it's done, there's no monthly bills.
The upfront costs of solar can be pretty large if you're trying to generate and store as much power as the typical household uses. But that's where minimalism comes in. By stripping back your consumption, you can get away with a pretty modest setup. We have eight 400 watt panels, and as I said at the beginning, that is way more than we currently need. I'll be adding a freezer and a washing machine to this room, which will draw more power, so check back and we'll see how things change. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.